Now, We 31 Storm Tracker meteorologist Grace Anello with 31 Triple Doppler. I'm glad to see that rain is giving us a little grace today. <laughs> 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 -bam. Good job. That's a I like good one. That Coming out the work. gate yeah. strong. I like it. I um, like you know it. what? <laughs> so so what, are, what are we looking at? Uh, it's not gone for good for the week. No, no, okay. it's certainly not gone for good. Right. Today is going to be one of our drier days of the week, but mm. we are still going to have rain in the forecast. And actually, 31 Triple Doppler is showing rain right now. 11, 18 a.m. on your Wednesday. And most of that rain is in our southeastern counties. Talking about Etowah and Cherokee there. Also in Coleman County. As we head through the rest of the afternoon, though, we're going to see some more of this rain coming into the forecast and stay with us. Now, most of us who will see rain will be south of the Tennessee River. Let's take a look right now at the Way 31 Sky Camera Network, powered by Thompson Roofing and Construction. Temperatures feeling so much better. Talking about low and mid 70s at this point, and our dew points, which measures the amount of moisture in the air, those are much lower too, and that is helping us to feel a whole lot more comfortable. However, it's not a sunny day for us. We've got plenty of cloud cover there. That's going to keep those temperatures from getting quite so high, but even still, will rise to the low 80s, about 80 degrees even for our high temperature, and we will keep mostly cloudy skies in the forecast. All right, let's walk through the timing of what you can expect today on future radar. So this was 11 a.m. just a few minutes ago. That scattered rain remains in the area. Fast forward to 1230, and we've seen some more storms develop in our southern counties just south of the Tennessee River. Now, these storms are not severe, but they will bring brief periods of heavy rain and brief periods of very gusty wind into the forecast as well. It's not going to be an all-out washout, but it's something to be mindful of. We'll continue to see that rain track south and east through about dinner time today, pushing as far north as the Tennessee River and cloud cover for those of us who even who don't even see the rain. We are still going to see the cloud cover. We'll keep one or two sprinkles through dinner time and even heading into bedtime, but for the most part, just after dinner, all of us should be completely dry for your Wednesday. That's not the case, though, for the rest of the week. Take a look at Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Some pretty hefty rain changes is coming in the forecast, but there is a light at the end of the tunnel with Sunday and Monday dry conditions. And spoiler alert, I've seen the 10 day in the next several days. Well, they look pretty good. First, though, we have to get through just a little bit of rain. Let's time this out for you. So this is Thursday at 10 a.m. Some morning time showers in some of our east northeastern counties. As we head through the rest of the day, we're going to see pop up showers and storms. This is one o'clock, so just after lunchtime. And this is another situation where not all of us are going to see rain. These are those summertime convection pop-up showers and storms that will be there. They'll bring heavy rain for 15 minutes and then they'll be gone. And that's just Alabama for you. 5 p.m. and we're seeing plenty of rain along the I-65 corridor. And then it really clears out as we head into Thursday night. When you wake up first thing Friday morning, some of us will have some very light rain. I'm calling it scattered drizzle first thing on Friday. This is 6.30 as you're waking up to take the dog outside. Be mindful they might come back into the house with some muddy paws that you might want to wipe before they jump on the couch. Now, one, then we'll have a dry your breakfast time, but heavier rain returns by lunchtime and through dinner time on Friday. So noon, we're talking about rain, and then that stays in the forecast just until dinner. Now, at this point, we are not in a severe weather risk on Friday, but it's still several days away, so that's something that I'm watching. I think the risk is going to stay south and west of us, but of course, this system could change. So that's something that I'm going to continue to monitor for you. Saturday at 7 a.m., rain moves into our southern Tennessee counties and begins to cross south and east across both the Tennessee River and the I-65 corridor, and that stays in the forecast for us for much of the day Saturday. So if you have any chores outdoors that you need to get done, go ahead and try to get those done on Sunday. It'll be the much drier day of the week for you. All right, well, here's your 10-day forecast. One of the main consistencies here is the trash pandas, and boy, are we glad that they're back with that win last night. We'll keep rain chances Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Now, Sunday and Monday into the rest of the work week, we've got more sunshine on tap, which is such a blessing. However, However, we're also going to see those temperatures rise from the low 80s on Sunday to the upper 80s on Friday. <laughs> Can't complain about that. We love that forecast. It's Not crazy. too bad. Though. I'm so glad. <laughs> we need just to have for y'all. Just for y'all. Don't you just wish we get stuck in the 80s in <laughs> more ways much. than one. Exactly. <laughs>